Hello everybody, this is Nayush here with my 150th video on this channel. Yay! So, I thought today, since my 50th video, I looked back at my t-shirt collection, how about we take a look at my video game hat collection this time around? So, I can't think of any place better to start than with the first hat I ever got, gaming related, which is this one. You can see it's just a NES controller and it says role model on it. This I got at a video game convention, and it says Nintendo right there. This I got at a video game convention when I was like 12, 13, something like that, maybe 14, so this one has a lot of nostalgia for me, and it's still definitely one of my favorites, you know. I never really understood why I said role model on it though, like is it saying NES is my role model, or video gaming is my role model? I'm not entirely sure, but one of the cases, I always loved it, and I always wore a lot with my Yoshi shirt that was brown, since it matched so perfectly, so I really love this hat, very awesome, S still happy I have it. Yeah. And next up we got one that I got at Walmart's again when I was a teenager. It's got a Goomba on it. It says game over there and on the bill there it says Super Mario Brothers. Nothing on the back this time, but uh, yeah, I saw this when I was shopping at a Walmart once when I was younger. Um, so I saw it and I was like, you know what? I don't have that in my collection. I should, I should get that. And I did and unfortunately unlike the other one, I have more than this one as much. Mainly just because... I don't know, just the coloring is okay and whatnot. you know, I have nothing against Goombas, but Koopa Troopers are better, for one, so, I don't know, I, I like it, but at the end of the day, I still have better hats, but I still love it, yeah, you're, you're still special to me. Next up, we got a fitted hat, this I don't remember where I got it from, I think it was Walmart or maybe Kmart, but uh, it's just a black hat with uh, Mario in the front and a bunch of designs all around it and like I said it's a fitted hat this is around the time when fitted hats were all the rage and let me tell you now thank goodness that is over because I do not like fitted hats I never have and I never will so unfortunately this is kinda hairy because my cats keep knocking off my hat rack like there's a little dirt right there so yeah, it's not the cleanest hat in the world, but I still love it. I want to clean up before I wear it again, though. But I probably won't be anytime soon, because like I said, I'm not a fan of fitted hats. I never have been, and I never will, you know. When it comes to hats, I like to wear them like this, you know. That's always been my preferred way since I was a kid, just because I like that way. I don't like when the bill is right over my eyes. It always kind of bothered me. So, yeah, there's a little fun fact for you. That's why I wear my hat backwards all the time. So, I do love this hat. I love all the designs. It's got Shy Guy, Paratroopa, Lakitu, Screw, Lakitu, Blooper, Screw, Blooper, Hambro, Boo, Chain Chomp. It basically has all the enemies on it, which is pretty cool. And thankfully, there's no Toad on here, which is always a plus. Next up, we got uh, <laughs> kind of a fun one. It's basically just a mushroom, but on the side there it says, Know Your Roots. Yeah, Know Your Mushroom Related Roots, and on the back it has a little Nintendo tag. Again, it's got a lot of hair on it, because again, the cats keep knocking off my rack. And uh, I don't know why, but black hats always seem to attract more cat hair and dog hair than the other ones. I have no idea why. Maybe there's just something about black hats, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember where I got this. I'm pretty sure it's Walmart uh, before I got the Goomba one, so this one's a little bit on the older side, but I still love it. You know, it's still a great hat to wear whenever I'm wearing a black t-shirt or something like that, although today I'm wearing navy blue. Pikachu dressed as Raiden for Mortal Kombat because, you know, Pokemon and Mortal Kombat are both awesome. Speaking of which, I really need a Mortal Kombat hat. Next up... We got the big bad guy himself, Bowser. So, there's that. And unfortunately, it's a fitted hat. And uh, I do like it, but uh, again, it's a fitted hat, so I don't really wear it too often. I don't really have any Bowser t-shirts or any, sh any shirts that uh, match this too good. So, I, it's not often I wear it, but I still love it, you know. I still bought it up just because it's Bowser. I'm like, you know what? I need a Bowser hat, so I got it, and now here it is. Oh, and speaking of Bowser, we have another Bowser hat. This is a more recent one that I got at uh, Spencer's, and uh, I gotta admit, I like the design a lot more. I like that it's a snapback. 
has Bowser written on it. And I like the color black more, but uh, one thing I don't fully understand is this weird leather leather thing on the bill. I don't know what that is. Is that like supposed to be like like maybe turtle skin off his off his back or something? I, I don't know. It's it's perplexing to me, especially because the underside is just regular fabric. So I don't know what's up with that, but hey, I still like it. Still has the tags too because I haven't gotten around to wearing it yet, but someday. Alright, now, these two I'm going to cover together because they're essentially the same. Remember that black one I had? Well, I got two white ones. So this was the first one I got. It has Mario running on the front. It has Super Mario Bros. 3 on the back. And unfortunately, this has not aged the best. As you can see, it's really dirty. I tried washing it a couple times. It just never came out, so I just kind of retired this hat altogether. And I... Uh, it's got a lot of unique designs, very different from uh, the black one, like it has Tanoki Mario, Mario and the uh, Shoe and Super Mario Bros. 3, all that good stuff, so it's a cool app, but unfortunately it's not aged the best. This one's aged slightly better. Um, it's basically the same thing, only it doesn't have Mario's emblem on the back and it's all in color, which I like that better. Still has Super Mario Bros. 3 on the side, and unfortunately again, this is uh, not aged the best. And unfortunately, this hat has Toad on it. Bad call, guys. It also has Luigi running with Princess Peach in red. Why is Princess Peach in red? I have no idea. But yeah, it's still a cool hat. I still like it, but uh, for the most part, it's retired because, again, it's kind of dirty and it's a fit hat. That's the problem with white hats is they can get dirty so easily, unfortunately. Next up, we have one that I wear quite a bit in my videos, actually. Got a little dirt on it. It's uh, my Mario one. So, it basically just has Mario, you know, arms crossed, looking all cool, with Mario written on the front there. And it's got uh, Mario on the back. So, I wear this one quite often just because it's one of my favorites. You know, I like the design of it. I like that it's a snapback. It's just a cool hat overall, and I love the blue on it, you know. Blue and red are my favorite colors, so... Naturally, I like things that are blue and red and have my favorite colors, so I really like this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. Glad I picked this up. Pretty sure I got Spencer's uh, years ago. And since we're on that topic, let's go and cover these two next. So I also have a Luigi version, which is dark blue and green, obviously to fit with the, with the Luigi, and it says Luigi on the back. Definitely, again, another one of my favorites. I, I like it, you know. It's a cool design. And uh, I like Luigi, you know, Luigi's awesome. You know, he's not my favorite Mario character, but he's a close second. And speaking of my favorite Mario character, the greatest video game character of all time, Yoshi. Again, another one of my favorites. Um, it's green and yellow, so I don't get to wear it that often because I don't have anything that's really going to match it. But still, really cool hat. I still really like it, and maybe I'll wear a red shirt once in a while and still wear this just because... I love it, you know, Yoshi is my favorite character of all time and anything, so, yeah, love this one. Really glad I picked it up when I did, because it is just so awesome. Next up, a shirt, or, excuse me, a hat that I really haven't worn much and I probably should. Uh, just nothing too special about it. It says Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on it, and it's got the fabric backing, or trucker backing, as you it's usually called. Some people call them mesh, some people just call it trucker hats. I just call it hat, you know. A hat's a hat, whether it's got the mesh or not. But yeah, it's the only Legend of Zelda hat I own, unfortunately. But I found this cheap at uh, a store once. I believe it was called Kohl's. And uh, it was dirt cheap, so I was like, you know what? Give me it. I'll take it. Why not? You know? I never actually got around to finishing Twilight Princess, but I did enjoy why it did play. So, there's that. Next up, we got one that I got from a grocery store. Nothing too special, just a picture of Mario on the front. Still has the original uh, sticker on it, but I'm about to take that off eventually because I'm not a fan of the whole keeping the stickers on the hat thing. I think the reason it's there is because I haven't actually worn this one yet, but uh, it's a snapback, which I like, and under the bill has Mario written on it, which I kind of question that. Why, why would you put something under the bill? Because no one's going to ever see that. 
I say literally look under your hat, which would be weird, so... I don't know. I, I like the coloring and everything, but I like the other Mario hat I have better, so... That's the main reason I haven't worn this one yet. Probably will someday, just not anytime soon. Next up, we got another Yoshi hat. It's all green, and it's got Yoshi right there, which I like. And, uh, it's got uh, Yoshi written on the back. And this one also has stuff under the bill, only says it's just saying Yoshi has uh, artwork, artwork like the white hats I showed you earlier. Which is actually really cool. I, I really like that. That's a nice touch, but again, under the bill, I don't think anyone's going to really see that. So, I don't know. I like it, but at the same time, I kind of question it. But, whatever. Still cool hat. I still wear it every now and then when I'm wearing a green shirt. So, it's pretty nice. Here's another hat that I wear quite often in the videos. It's uh, one of my personal favorites. It's just got the whole Mario gang on the front. So uh, another one of those trucker hats. And, you know, it's got Koopa, Bowser, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Bowser Jr., Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Goomba, and unfortunately Toad. This would have been so much more amazing if Toad wasn't included on it, but it is what it is. And I also like how the bill is a little soft on the top. I wish you guys had feel a vision or something so you could feel that. It's really soft. And I really like that, you know. It feels good in my hand when I have to take off my hat and whatnot. So, I like that. And I just like the overall design. I always like shirts and hats where I had everybody on it, so I like that. Next up, another Spencer's hat. Most of these hats are from Spencer's, just FYI, in case you were curious. Um, not one I wear often, but... Uh, yeah, it's a little, little blank in the front there, but if you turn it to the side, oh, there's a bull bill. And it's got the bubbles, I guess. I mean, it always looked more like smoke to me, but it looks like bubbles here. And it says Super Mario World on the back. And again, a lot of cat hair on this one because it keeps falling off. And it's another fit hat, so you know, I already know how I feel about these, so I don't wear it too often, but... Uh, it is cool to have a hat that says Super Mario World on it, because as we all know, Super Mario World is the greatest Mario game ever, at least in my opinion. Here we have one of the more recent ones I got. Um, this came from Spencer's, and I gotta say, I got it for the coloring alone. It's got Boo and Yoshi and Mario and Luigi on it, that's Super Mario right there. It's got a lot of weird colors on it, but I like it. It's, it's pretty cool. And on the bottom it has Bowser, which is pretty cool as well. Again, no one's ever going to see it, but I get to see it, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the only real problem with this hat is I don't really have anything that matches with it, other than my Animaniacs t-shirt, sort of, so... I don't get around to wearing it too often, but I'll probably wear it in a video eventually. You know, a video where I'm on screen and whatnot, because it wouldn't make any sense to wear it while I'm behind the camera doing commentary or whatever. Next up, another favorite of mine. Just has Mario and Luigi running on it in a navy color. I like that. And on the back it has a 1-Up Mushroom. There you go. So, I wear this one quite often because I usually wear, you know, navy blue type shirts and whatnot. And it matches pretty good with almost everything. So, I like that one. The only thing that could make it better, in my honest opinion, is if Yoshi was on it, like maybe right there or there somewhere. That would be awesome. Alright, so next up, I don't know if you would call this a gaming hat or not, but I'm personally going to count it anyways. It's my Team Valor hat from Pokemon Go, and it's uh, another trucker hat, but I like it. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun to wear when I'm out playing Pokemon Go, so there's that. And uh, speaking of Pokemon, the one I'm wearing right now, got a uh, Ash Ketchum. Technically speaking, that's more an anime than a video game, but... I'm still counting anyways. And I also have another Ash Ketchum hat. It says Pokemon on the back. And it's one of these. I never like these on hats. Let me tell you. you know, I, I prefer them over fitted hats. But I don't like the whole you know, pull the string out to tighten it. And then pull this to loosen it. And I just never like that personally. Give me a snapback or give me Velcro. That's what I ask. Next up, one I haven't even taken the tags off yet. It's, uh, yeah, it's a one-up mushroom that says, Get a Life. Still has the tags and the stickers, so... Where did I get this one at? I'm pretty sure this is a Walmart hat. 
yeah, this is a Walmart hat. So, I liked it. Figured go with some of my uh, shirts and whatnot. And on the back, got more of the white design with all the enemies and whatnot. So, pretty cool hat, but again, it's fitted. And it also has stuff under the bill, too. But again, it's a fit hat. Not a fan. Next up, another one up mushroom. It's uh, just a black hat with a one up mushroom. It says one up. Uh, yeah, one up mushroom on the bottom of the bill. Nothing on the back. It's a fit hat again. But uh, this is actually a stretch fit, which I prefer those a little bit more. I like it when it at least stretches a good bit, so that way if my hair grows out a little bit, it still fits on just fine. Because, you know, I can't always get to the barber right away, so that's why I prefer to have it adjustable. So if I have to loosen up a bit, I can. If I have to tighten it a bit, I can. I prefer that. Up next is uh, one of my oldest Yoshi hats, if not my oldest. Uh, it just has Yoshi on the front. It's uh, green and yellow like the other one, only it seems to be a lighter green. And it's fitted, but uh, I didn't care with this one. I still wore it quite a bit when I first got it, but now that I have the other one, this one barely gets worn at all, so I mainly wear the other one now. Next up is going to be another Mario hat. Nothing too special about it. I like the design, I like the coloring, and it's uh, Velcro, which I like. A little dirty though, because this is one of the older ones I got. This one I don't even remember where I got it from, so... Yeah, but uh, still a great hat. I still like it. I'll probably still wear it eventually again for one of the videos I do. And uh, technically speaking, this isn't really a gaming hat since I made it, but uh, this is my original Mario cosplay hat. Uh, literally all I did was I put a white circle over a St. Louis Cardinals hat. Yeah, St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, put the M on there, and there you go. Nothing too special about it, but uh, it has a lot of nostalgia for me because I had this since I was 13 years old. That's when I started cosplaying as Mario, and I have really didn't use it anymore after I got uh, one of those uh, other hats, but uh, it still means a lot to me, and I still wear it every now and then outside. So, I love that hat. And before I went ask, no, I won't be showing off the cosplay hats because that'll be for another video in the future, maybe. Next up, another oldie but a goodie. Got uh, Mario on the front and Super Mario written on the back. And I actually got this around the time I got the Bullet Bill uh, Super Mario World hats. So this was another one from uh, Spencer's, I believe. And this is a bit of a flex. It's, you know, it's a little stretchy, but not too much. So Again, this came out when the Fit Hat craze was going on, and I'm very thankful that's over because, again, I'm not a fan. Next up, we got uh, another Luigi hat. We got uh, one with Luigi in the front. Very similar to the Mario one, only he's on the other side, or opposite side, as you can see there. And uh, this one has one advantage over the uh, Mario hat, and that it's a snap bag. Yes! So, I don't really wear this as often as I do the other Luigi hat, because I just like that design better, but I still wear this one every now and then as well, because I still like it. It's still a good hat, and it's not fitted. And now for the most vintage one of all, a Nintendo 64 hat. Now, this I did not obtain when the N Nintendo 64 was new, so that's Kellogg's on the back, so I guess Kellogg's was a part of it. And on the back, Super Mario 64, and it's a snapback, fantastic. So this I did not obtain when the Nintendo, Nintendo 64 was out. This I actually got an auction years later, and I gotta say I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Because anybody that knows me knows I love the Nintendo 64, you know. Along with the Super Nintendo, it's my favorite console of all time, so really cool to have this. Now, if only I could get a Super Nintendo hat, then my life would be complete. So, that's pretty awesome. So that's the last of the normal hats. Now we're going to move on to the winter hats. And we'll start with the first one I ever got, this white one right here. It's got uh, a lot of characters and whatnots. As uh, Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Boo, Paratroopa, Koopa, Blooper, Lakitu, Peach, the Star, Bull, Bill, Toad. Anyways, Bowser, Monty Mole, Buzzy Beetle, Donkey Kong, Wario on the back, Chain Chomp. So it's got a lot of characters on it, and I think it's pretty cool. I remember when I first got this when I was a teenager. I wanted to wear it everywhere, so I did. And uh, it's. Still one of my favorite hats. It doesn't fit too perfectly, unfortunately. But, 
You know, it, it was one of the first of its kind, so I still love it. Then I got uh, this Mario hat right here. I like the color coloring on this one a little bit more, a little bit dirty, but uh, it is what it is. Just has Mario on the front and coloring throughout, so pretty nice hat. I like it. Not 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 the greatest Mario hat in the world, but I love it. Next up is one that I haven't even taken the tags off. Looks like it was a Walmart tag, or Walmart tag, a Walmart hat, and uh, I think this was actually a Christmas present, but. Uh, it's black with green stripes and has the one-up mushroom on it, but you can also reverse it and make it a gray hat with a giant mushroom. The only problem is this one isn't uh, a patch or anything like that. This is, uh, what's it called, printed on or something like that. So I'm afraid it's going to scratch off eventually, so I personally prefer it this way. Because here, it's an actual patch, so it won't scrape off or anything like that. It's, and I like the black and green design. It's it's pretty cool if you ask me. Next up we got a Goomba hat. So this I'm not entirely sure where I got. It was another Christmas present, but oh my god, I love this one. It's got the little, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but the little fuzzy balls at the bottom, which I, I like those. Those are pretty cool. I don't know why. I always liked hats with strings for some reason. There's just something about it. But uh, yeah, it's just a Goomba face, and that's pretty much all there is to it. But uh, I still like it quite a bit. The only real problem I have is it's a little soft, a little thin, so not the best for keeping your head warm, but certainly around fall and stuff like that, it's still a good hat to wear. So nice fall hat, but I wouldn't call it a winter hat personally. It's a little too thin for that. Next up, we got a NES controller hat, and. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Just a NES controller. Um, again, this was a Christmas present. Pretty much all my wear hats, I think about, with the exception of the. Uh, no way, even that one was a Christmas present. Well, it was a birthday present, but same idea. So yeah, pretty much all my wear hats were presents from my family. So hey, thanks guys for all these awesome hats. But uh, yeah, it's just a big NES controller, and it's a pretty big patch, pretty thick too. So. This is what I would call a winter hat. This will keep your head warm when it's snowing really hard and whatnot. The Goomba one, not so much, but this one will get the job done, and I love it for that. And just because I love NES, too. NES is awesome, don't you know? Gotta love the NES. So there's that one, and the last one, the most recent one I got, is this Mario hat that I got from a loot box, or whatever it's called. Um, I found out Walmart's one of those big boxes with a bunch of things in it, and I was like, it's got a Mario hat and a Mario scarf and whatnot. I want it. So my mother bought it for me for my birthday, and uh, thank you for that. And it's very simple in that it's just a Mario emblem, but uh, I love it still. It's very awesome, and uh, it's definitely probably my favorite of the winter hats just because it's got a good amount of thickness on it. It fits my head really good, and it is really warm. So I really love this hat, and uh, yeah, love wearing that around the winter time. And that's all for my video game hat collection currently. So, naturally, uh, my collection will probably continue to grow as the years go, but uh, for now, that's all I got. So, I hope you all enjoyed it, and before I go, I have a special announcement to make. So, obviously, this is going to be uploaded on Tuesday, and on Thursday, I have a special video, and then after that, I will be starting two new LPs. So, get ready for next week. I'll be, I won't be announcing what uh, they are until next video, but I hope you all are looking forward to it. So... Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all then.